Hey everybody, Steve here in Palm Springs. I'm getting ready to head over to the El Mirador Surgery Center or Surgical Center. It's located at Desert Regional Hospital and right next door to my ophthalmology office. I'm finally having my surgery to remove the cataract in my left eye. Luckily, I don't have a cataract in my right eye. That's just fine, but I do have one here in the left eye. I'm supposed to arrive at 8.30. And so we're just leaving, we're going to leave in a few minutes. The surgery itself will happen at 9.30, and then they said, Jeff could take me home around 10.30. So it just takes about two hours. The surgery itself, from what I've been told, takes about 10 to 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. It's usually pretty fast. They do a lot of these, and they're fairly routine. And so I just have my fingers crossed that mine will be routine like everybody else's. I have my uh, two eye drops for after the surgery, I guess. Four times a day, I need to take both of these eye drops. So one is for swelling, to keep the swelling down after surgery. And I take those eye drops four times a day. And then the other one is for to prevent infection. And I take that four times a day. And I can't remember now how long they said to take it. Probably a week or two, I guess. I have to go back tomorrow to the ophthalmologist. They'll remove the eye patch that I need to wear for a full day after the surgery. And we'll see, I guess, if it's effective, if I can see without the blurriness. I think I'll be able to know that tomorrow. And then it's just a matter of monitoring the eye after that for a few weeks just to make sure there's no side effects and no infection. I think that's the main thing is the infection. Oh, and thanks to all of you who left comments in that video I did a few months ago about needing to have this done, but really postponing it because I was just leery about having the surgery and hundreds of you left comments, very encouraging comments saying that you had the surgery done yourself or your family members did or someone you knew did. And almost unanimously, everyone said it was really simple, really easy, really effective. And I think all of you were so happy you did it and wish you'd done it sooner. So that was very encouraging and made me decide to go ahead and do it. I contacted the, my ophthalmologist in January, but they were fully booked. So I guess they say that pretty much almost every single person eventually gets cataracts if you live long enough. If you're lucky enough to live long enough, you will end up getting cataracts, and most people do end up getting cataract surgery. So it's extremely common and apparently pretty safe. So especially if you take all the eye drops and follow all the, the guidelines after the surgery, which I definitely will be doing. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for all the encouraging comments and helping me decide to go ahead and do this now rather than later. We're going to head over there in a few minutes and I'll let you know how it goes. Well, it's been two hours, right? It's 10, 10 well, 10.40. You dropped me off at uh, 9.30? Or no, 8.30. <laughs> it was before 8.30. Okay, so a little over two hours. And I have to wear this patch for... Uh, I guess 24 hours, so we'll be going to the doctor's tomorrow. So, say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Alright, thank goodness for Jim to be able to drive me to and from these appointments. <laughs> so, I don't feel a lot of pain. I feel a little bit. They had me take some Tylenol. And so, we're heading, we'll head back to the ophthalmologist tomorrow morning for him to take this off and then to see if it actually worked better after all that. <laughs> Actually, you know, it was pretty fast, pretty simple, pretty easy, and I didn't really feel, you know, I, I thought in the office, I thought you said you was, they were going to put me to sleep, completely asleep, but they don't. They just put you to sleep enough that you're, you could still talk, but you really have no idea what's going on. I don't really, really remember anything that happened, although I guess I'm awake enough that they can ask me questions and stuff, but... Well, that's funny, because I think the one time when I had it where it was supposed to be just a light thing, I guess I'm just a very easy sleeper, because it's like I still don't remember anything, even though it wasn't supposed to be a full Yeah, well, I think, I think that's what they said. I think you aren't really, they don't put you completely to sleep, but you don't really remember anything. It's, so, yeah, I mean, they're, they're very efficient, very nice, lots of people there helping. I mean, they go over everything a hundred times, which is good. Nobody taking selfies beforehand. Nobody take. Well, I wouldn't have known probably <laughs> if they were. But, uh, yeah, we just watched the first episode of The Resident, 
where one guy dies because they're in there taking selfies of him while he, they're supposed to be paying attention to his, you know, operation. So they said not to take any eye drops today. I mean, they already put in, gosh, it seems like they put in hundreds of eye drops today. And I guess that'll last me till tomorrow. They said not to bother to take my dry eye drops. I guess with all the drops I'm gonna be taking, eight, well, nine hours, I'm gonna be taking nine drops a day for the next couple of weeks, two to three weeks. So he said, I'm not gonna need my regular eye drops, but he said I should take my glaucoma drops right before I go to bed. So I just have to coordinate all this so I'm not taking all the drops at the exact same time. Yeah, they have to be scattered out or spread out through the day. So, so far so good. I think I am still a little groggy. Do I sound groggy? You don't sound groggy. No? Okay. Well, I feel kind of groggy. It's a little difficult to see out of just one eye. Stay tuned for tomorrow's doctor visit and we'll we'll get the big reveal. Big reveal. Yeah. Fingers crossed. So my cataract surgery was yesterday. It's the next morning. I'm still feeling kind of queasy from the anesthesia. Anesthesia has always done a real number on me. Every time I have surgery for my kidney stones, I have anesthesia and it just makes me so queasy and nauseous for you know hours after the surgery. But this time, this was a real doozy. Um, the anesthesia yesterday, I still feel queasy right now. And it's been almost 24 hours since the surgery. Jim's gonna take me to the ophthalmologist. I have my first follow-up appointment where they remove the patch and see if it was a success, see if I can see again without the cloudiness from the cataract. I was finally able to eat just a little bit last night before I went to bed. Yesterday, I wasn't able to eat anything or drink anything, so I pretty much didn't have anything to eat or drink for almost 24 hours. I just could not keep down even water. I would take a sip of water and feel like I was going to throw up. So I mostly just slept all day yesterday, which was, which was fine. I mean, that was good. I'm sure that's helpful in the healing process. And I was able, finally, you know, before I went to bed, to eat a little bit. And it did make me very queasy, but then I just went to bed and laying down, it didn't feel quite so bad. So I was able to get up this morning and have some cereal with milk and didn't feel too bad. I didn't feel real queasy while I was eating or afterwards, which was amazing since I was so queasy the day before. But that was a couple of hours ago and I am starting to feel queasy again. So hopefully the anesthesia will eventually wear off. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I should have mentioned to the anesthesiologist when he came in to talk to me before the surgery. I should have mentioned that the last time I had this, I don't know, six months ago, anesthesia, for my kidney stones, I talked to the anesthesiologist about it, anesthesiologist about it, and he said, oh, well, I can put something in it or give you something to counteract the anesthesia. And he did, and it wasn't very bad last time. I didn't think to even mention that to this anesthesiologist. Maybe he could have put something in or given me something for that. Hopefully I'll remember next time. I think I will, because this time was the worst it's ever been. I mean, I just, I've never gone almost 24 hours feeling nauseous from anesthesia. My eye feels very gritty today, like there's sand inside my eye. Jim was able to read the instructions. I can't read them. And this eye here really is mostly, it's not real good for reading close up. It's, it's very good for distance now, but I will need glasses. The other eye that had the cataract, I guess my brain, according to my ophthalmologist, my brain had done something to convert this one to nearsighted. So I was able to read up close. So I didn't really need glasses, even though distance was completely blurry and I couldn't see anything out of this eye. Up close, I could actually read, which was bizarre. And so, but once they took that lens out, it's now this lens, they replaced it with just a, a distance lens. You have to choose. That's one of the things you have to do when you, that was also confusing me and making it more difficult for me to decide to do this is that you have to decide do you, which lens you want. You know, once they take out your lens that has a cataract on it, they 
pulverize it and then vacuum it out, then you have no lens, so you can't see it all. So they need to replace it with an artificial lens. And that one could either be for distance or for up close reading, or you can get these multifocal lenses that aren't covered by insurance. They're an extra four or $5,000, but you know everything I've read about them, they could cause a lot more problems. And some people, they work just fine. And then it helps you, you can read closely or you can also see distance, but they're much more problematic, at least from all the people I've talked to, including the, the ophthalmologist that I go to. So I just went with the, the one lens, standard lens is paid for by Medicare and insurance, and it matches the other eyes. So now I, I'll be able to see, I think it'll be like 2020 or whatever it is when you can see very clearly, kind of perfectly without glasses, distance and maybe, I don't know, maybe a little bit closer up and maybe, maybe some mid-range, but not up close. I won't be able to, to probably read much without glasses. Although this morning I was trying to read something on my phone with this eye and I could actually read it. It was a little bit blurry. So it'll depend on if this one's really blurry, maybe my brain will compensate and this will, be, will become more of a, a dual lens or maybe I'll be able to read out of it read up close with this one. I don't know. Probably not. So I'll probably have to wear glasses for reading up close. So <laughs> I don't know if I'll be finding that out today or not, or if he's just going to take this off and see if I can see clearly things in the distance. I'm sure I'll probably have to read the eye chart, which on this eye for the last couple of years now, I can't see anything on the eye chart at all. I mean, nothing, not even the large. I think the largest one is an E. I know it's an E, but if I didn't know, I wouldn't be able to tell that it's an E. It's just been completely blurry for distance, like the eye chart. So it should definitely be a lot clearer, I would think. So I'll let you know what I find out in about a half hour. We just got back from the ophthalmologist. It really didn't take very long. It was just a follow up, just to take off the patch. And I haven't even looked in the mirror yet to see what it looks like. He said that. There was a little bit of bleeding yesterday when he did the surgery. He said it was pretty unusual. He said usually there's no bleeding, but he said it's fine. He said everything looked good, looked normal. He said the bleeding was, you know, nothing serious, and I guess it'll go away in a few days. My eye is still blurry. I did the eye chart, and in previous visits with the cataract, I couldn't see anything. It was, like I said, it was just completely blurry. I couldn't read anything. Even though taking off the mask, the eye mask, my eye was twitching and very blurry. I could still see quite a bit. They said it was good. They said, you know, I was able to see it was good, but it's still gonna take, I guess, a few days for my eye to get used to the new lens. And I need to start taking my eye drops four times a day. I've got two different drops I take four times a day. And I've got a little bit of pain in the eye. And he said the drops should take care of that. I'm guessing that must be the one, one drop is to keep the eye from swelling. And that's probably what's causing the twitching and right now and probably what's causing a little bit of the pain. I mean, it's not very painful, but he said if I wanted to take a Tylenol, I can. But the eye drops probably should take care of it. So... I don't know if you can see. I, like I said, I haven't even looked in the mirror yet. Jim hasn't even. I had my glasses on. He just, here, where he is? There he is. Yeah. So you want to come and look at my eye and see what you think? <laughs> You'll be the first to see it. Maybe come around to this side where well, you got your glasses on. You may need to take your glasses. Well, with the no, your glasses, no. I guess, then you can't no, see. No, we'll just, <laughs> How does it look? I mean, to be honest, it doesn't. I mean, your pupil's like really, really tiny. And... I mean, you do have the blood, but I mean, you've had bloodshot eyes before. I yeah, mean, with my allergies, my eyes are always bloodshot and red, so I probably wouldn't even have noticed if he hadn't said. I guess he said during the surgery, that's when it started bleeding, but I guess it wasn't too bad, and he wasn't concerned about it. No, and it's only on the one side, like in the on this side of the eye. Yeah, I'll go take a look and see if I can see it. But oh, yeah, you'll be able to see it. Oh yeah. Oh, so <laughs> yeah. it's it's pretty red. It's pretty much like all red. Oh no. Well, okay, I'm glad he said something then, because I can't tell. by My screen is so tiny, I can't. Well, I guess I can see it a little bit red. Well, it's been five full days since my cataract surgery, and I don't know if you can tell from the light here, but my eyes are really looking good. I mean, this is the eye where the cataract surgery was done. And when I got home the day that the ophthalmologist took off the patch, my eye was just really, really red and bloody. 
and there's still a little bit of blood at the bottom here, but nothing, it's nothing like it was the day I had the patch taken off. It's so much better now, and it's just been five days since the surgery, so I'm very happy. My eyes are always red, as you know, from allergies. This is spring, and my eyes are always red, and then this I hear, I've been adding the eight drops, nine drops a day, and they kind of sting, and I think they kind of make my eye a little bit red after I put the drops in, so I think part of the redness is just from those drops. But overall, it's healing up really well, and I can see perfectly out of this eye now. It's completely, the cataract is gone, and the lens is just perfect for seeing in the distance television, even the computer, which is maybe just two, three feet in front of me. I can see really well on the computer. I can see well in the distance, see perfectly clear watching TV. I can even see on my phone without glasses, but if I really want to read my phone or anything up close, I do have glasses, prescription glasses, that I never wore because I really didn't need them, but, but now I actually have been wearing them and they've been great. And so I've got my glasses for reading up close if I need it, or, and then I don't need glasses for seeing distance or even, I don't know what they call it, mid-distance, I guess. Now, something that I wasn't expecting is that last night I was watching TV and I closed this eye and I was looking just out of this eye and I realized this eye is actually, the eye with the cataract, is now actually sharper and clearer than this eye. And I don't have a cataract in this eye. And also, this eye, everything is bright and white but then if I close this eye and I look at it this eye only, it's still very clear, not quite as clear as the eye with the new lens, but it also has sort of a yellow, dingy cast to it, which I never noticed before. I only notice it now in comparison. This is bright white, almost on the bluish end of the spectrum. This is definitely on the yellow end of the spectrum. And when I'm just looking at it, both eyes, everything look, just looks normal. I don't notice any difference, but when I close one eye or the other, I really see a big difference in color from one eye to the other. So I'm going to ask the doctor. I, I have my one-week follow-up appointment this Friday, so I'm going to ask about the difference. It doesn't matter. I don't notice it unless I'm looking out of just one eye, and even then it doesn't matter if one is a little bit different color. I'm looking at my eyes here on the screen. It does look like this one's quite a bit redder than this. So I think it probably is the eye drops and the allergies because right now my eyes feel fine. They're not itchy or burning or anything or blurry. They're perfectly sharp. So it was a success. Unless anything changes between now and the time I stop taking my drops or the time I go back to see the ophthalmologist. As far as I'm concerned, the cataract operation was a complete success. I can see perfectly now and I'm really happy that it only took a few days to to get back to normal. I mean, the anesthesia really did a number on me this time, more so than in the past when I've had an anesthesia. This seemed to last for two to three days, and the nausea for a couple of days, and then the third day just still just kind of groggy from everything. And But I've just been sleeping, mostly sleeping a lot for the last few days, not exercising, not doing anything strenuous, just kind of staying in bed and staying in the house, not going anywhere or doing anything. And five days later now, I feel back to normal. And I also want to give a really big thumbs up to the El Mirador Surgical Center quality of service is just off the charts fantastic. I, From the moment I walked in the door till the moment I was rolled out, I probably came in contact with probably a dozen people and everybody was really, really nice, really helpful. It was kind of shocking. I haven't had quality, really good, nice quality service like that, customer service. Well, since I was a kid. I mean, this is how it was when I was growing up, but definitely not in decades. I haven't run into any kind of uh, customer service that was what I would call exceptional. But every single person was wonderful. They should definitely be a model for lots of other businesses these days. And it's not that they need the business. I mean, they are very, very busy all the time. And it's difficult to get in there because they're so busy. So sometimes I think a lot of customer service has gone the way of the dinosaur just because most businesses these days just have way more customers than they need. And I think sometimes they're trying to get rid of customers. They just have way too many. It's just there's too many people on the planet these days compared to when I was growing up and not enough 
people in most jobs to, to handle all the business, so they don't need to try. They don't need to be nice. They don't need to be helpful. They don't need to really try to keep your business. In fact, they're, I think most of them are pretty happy if, if you leave and don't come back. At least that's been my experience over the years, but not with this uh, surgical center. They were outstanding, all of them. I mean, they deserve some kind of award. I mean, it was just like over the top amazing. I just I can't say enough about it. Well, so I'm very happy with the results and the whole experience. So as always, thanks for joining me on this week's adventure and hopefully next week's adventure won't be quite as uh, traumatic even though it was kind of a trauma for my eye. The experience itself wasn't really traumatic. It was a pretty nice experience other than the nauseousness and the queasiness which I always hate. That's something that's just I don't think anyone likes that. So thanks again for coming along for the journey and I'll see you all next time.